the accent and speaking Yoruba. Maybe she was overcompensating. What's up, y'all? It's the Fat Man coming back with another reaction, y'all. I hope everybody having a good day. Hope everybody having a good Thursday and everything like that. It's almost the weekend, y'all. It's almost Friday, y'all. So stick it out one more day, y'all. Stick out one more day, y'all. But we're skipping this reaction, y'all. So the reaction is six Africans versus one African American. I don't really like saying African American, but if that's your preference. That's your preference. Uh, uh, but anyways, so it's from Jubilee, just fair use, all that kind of stuff. I just want to put that out there, stuff like that. All credit goes to there, you know what I mean? All stuff like that. But all right, y'all, what's up in this video, y'all? We'll see what they're talking about, y'all. I'm African. I'm African. I'm African. I'm African. I'm African. I'm African. I am African. Hi. 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 What's up, guys? What's everyone's name? Where are you from? I'll start. I'm Sadiq from Ghana. Born and raised, yeah. When did August. you move? Oh, um, 2013. August 24th was actually my 10 year anniversary. Okay. So I've been here for 10 years. Hi, everyone. My name is Deborah. I don't know if y'all, I mean, I don't know if y'all from a different country, if y'all really celebrate y'all unit, like, huh, y'all gonna be here. I, I don't know, that's a little suspect to me. I, don't, I ain't really heard nobody like saying, uh, it's my 10 year anniversary of being here in America. I, I don't know, that's just me though. Um, I was born in Lagos, Nigeria, and yeah. <laughs> no, she's definitely not African. I, I don't know, that's. I don't know, maybe she was trying to throw people off, but I don't know. She didn't say even how long she was been here or nothing like that. She never said when she came to the U.S. and I just felt like she's been here her whole life. Uh, my name is Blessing. I was born in Potakot um, and I moved to America, I think I was like five. Mm -hmm. I've lived in Los Angeles ever since. Okay. Okay. Hi, my name is Inda. I'm, well, my dad is from Central African Republic. I was born and raised there, but my mom is from Ivory Coast. So it's like I was raised in both places and I moved to the United States when I was eight years old. She said she was born and raised in two countries. I feel like if you're the fake, that's a good strategy to use. It's going to be harder to quiz someone from two countries. What place did you like better? No. Uh, I disagree on that one. I don't know about that one. But you know, it might be right. I mean, I ain't never heard of these countries at all. I mean, I know Africa the big ass. I know Africa's huge. Way he like. I didn't even know there was a Central Africa Republic. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. I really did. I liked Ivory Coast. No shade to my dad. It's just that, like, <laughs> the vibes are more beaches. West my Africa. family. Yeah, West, West Africa, Africa for West real. Africa yeah. My name's Elizabeth. I was born and raised in Abelkuta, Ogun State, Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Hi, everyone. My name is Sheila. I'm Kenyan, born and raised in Nairobi, Kenya. I moved here last year. Okay, hi guys, my name is Sam, but I go by the name Big Sam, because, you know, every, yeah. we do it big. <laughs> we do it big over here, okay? Yeah. Uh, I, was, I was born in Zambia, born and raised in Zambia, then I came here like four or five years ago. So, you know, okay. trying to get okay. used to things still. Okay. But yeah, that's that. Okay. Uh, now him, him, I don't know, a little suspect to me. Uh, I don't know where the... I'm Big Sam. I, I don't know where he got that from, <laughs> but okay. If you want to put that in there, put that in there. Uh, I have a lot to the people I'm really is questioning right now. Definitely her. She really didn't even say anything. She just said she's from Lagos or whatever they call it. Damn, there's some beautiful women come from that damn country. God damn. But anyway, it's either him. I feel like it's either him, her. In him, I don't know. I already forgot everyone's name, but. Yeah. 
the accent and speaking Yorba. Maybe she was overcompensating. She was just too quiet. Just the way that I sound, I think my accent is more towards like an American sounding accent. Hmm. I ain't gonna lie to you, girl. You don't got no accent at all, all right? I ain't, I ain't, you, you definitely don't have no accent. You sound like American. Yeah. I have, have a again. question. Okay. When we're here, we have to speak like Americans sometimes and like Africans sometimes. Yep, yep. So what's like your American accent and what's your African accent? So my African accent comes more when I'm speaking to family and yeah. other Me people too. from Africa. Like yes. right now, I feel like I'm speaking to Africans, so yes. it's coming out. Yeah. But I'm, I'm also into acting and I work with a lot of white people, so sometimes I have to switch oh, it up. Yeah. 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 I was just like, mm, he's an actor, he could be acting, he could be lying. You know, these actors, they know how to play it off. Every time I try to like do American accent, I, I can start like, I'll be like, oh, yo, yo, yo. <laughs> and then before I know it, I will start speaking rubbish, okay? Right, right, right. And that African accent will always come out. It, it will, Is it, it out will, yell will. sometime accidentally? Yes. I'll just be like, For me, it's on. only when I'm frustrated. For me, it's like with my family, for sure. Like right now, I'm talking, but like, I speak French, so it's not oui je parle français, so I'm not gonna like talk like like it's not like the Nigerian accent. Now, now you got me questioning her. I don't know you, <laughs> you, you, you're not really speaking clearly, ma'am, and all that kind of stuff, ma'am. Sound like you sound like a lie. Sound like a lie to me. So you know, this yeah. English in there, it's more like a French accent, and you can kind of hear it when I talk, but you. Like, it's like, it's, it's back there, you know what I mean? Even though she was French speaking, that would have been a bit more obvious, but I could only hear America in her accent. Also, I agree with uh, what you said with uh, frustration. When you're in emotional situations, you don't really think before you talk, you just yeah. speak. What about you, Sam? So basically, yes. mine, I, I could never fake never an American change. accent to save my life. Even when, I, even when I think I'm trying to fake it, it just never works out. Because my friends are like, so what do you think you did there? <laughs> <laughs> but you're also you, not yeah. from West Africa. I feel like no. West Africa, what like part our of English yeah, what is part a bit of Africa better. Are you? I'm from Zambia. Zambia. Yeah. So Zambia is like, I feel like South. Is that South India. Yeah. So I have like the typical African accent, like the Wakanda accent. Yeah, oh. <laughs> because, yeah, because like, okay. now, now I've accepted it. It is what it is. Let's no lie, you definitely do have you definitely do have that accent. Wakanda forever. <laughs> Just, you know quite what it is. I yeah. think me too, because I'm Kenyan. You know the accent they make black Americans mm. speak when yes. they're trying to be African. But, but, You're Nigerian, right? Yes. Besides Nigeria. state and capital. Oh. You said what? State and capital. All of the states and capital. Just try. Right. All of them. Just try. Just Why try. don't you restate the states and capital? No, 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 no. no. You do it. Because I grew up in America. I can't even do that for the 50 states. So oh, that's, that's, okay, that's a good point. Like, What's like an expression in, in your country that people say? Like Look, he just skipped over to all that. He just skipped over that question, but okay. Just let it slide. Like, as a like, whenever they're like, let's shocked? say they're, yeah, shocked. Hey! Ha! Like, oh, oh, wow. wait, yeah. more like, hi. How about you? Yay! Yeah. There's yeah. something yeah. I do want to say, there's something yeah. I do want to say, though, before oh, the time oh, run out. And I'm, go, I'm, I'm so sorry, Blessing. I'm going to come Go ahead. for you. Okay? Go ahead, come for me. And I feel, I genuinely feel like if you're a Nigerian, there's no way you cannot recite the state and capital. If you grew up in Nigeria, like, they beat us to recite it. I lived in Nigeria for five it. years, and then I came to the States. How? I didn't you lived in Nigeria for five years? So you didn't go to school I didn't even go to, to yeah, I didn't even start you school in Nigeria. Like, I, there's I no way you have not started school. And you're five years old. Yeah, what? we moved. We but, moved. But exactly he might not five. remember. My dad was a lecturer, okay. and we moved to Los Angeles. How are you Nigerian, and you cannot do Abia Umaya Adama Wayola? Because they literally beat us to learn that. Well, it's it's not Nigerians, when you were five, do you remember who the president was? Mm. When you were young. When I was five, I think it was a bass on job. No, she's wrong yeah. actually. Yeah. Oh no, it's wrong. Oh, right. No, she's right. Ninety nine. Okay, ninety nine so. to two thousand. Hey, <laughs> bro, bro. If they was not trying to answer that question. They go double team. Her. Hey. All right, guys. You all requested this video. Don't forget to like this video so you can get more episodes. I'll Sam, when I'm not lying. I just thought you was American. Subscribe to Jubilee. Like her outfit, just, just. I just thought you was American. She looked, she looked American.
Maybe blessing is not lying because his attitude is all right. His energy was giving Nigerian. Sam, when I see him with the tennis, everything, no way. With that hair, no way. You're not African, bro, okay? <laughs> Between Blessing and Inda. Each of you are going to get 40 seconds to state your case. Uh, so I didn't want to say this because it's just so personal to me. I was debating talking about it on camera. To come into the US, I had to like, there was a war in my country. Which like, one? <laughs> exactly, which one? <laughs> she talk about, she talk about one, like, Exactly. Which one? Like, that's weird. Okay. Sorry. In Central African Republic, okay. Bangui, it's still going on now. And we had to leave because I had family members that, like, you know, just we lost them through. I don't know, lady. I ain't gonna lie to you. You, you don't know how to, you don't know how to, like, really make your stuff, like, make, actually make a point. Like, you used to be rambling, bro. Like, I don't know. He said, I don't, I don't know. I mean, uh, there was a war in my country, and uh, <laughs> he said, which word? The war, and uh, so we had to find. Bro, Ed, look at it, bro. Look at her. She like, she like, uh, nah, that ain't it, G. And refugee or asylum in the United States. Um, sorry. It's okay. Um, That's okay. Are you okay, Inda? I'm okay, I'm okay. Okay. Before I begin, I just want to say I'm sorry about all that. My parents do a lot of work in Central Africa Republic. They do missions. So very aware of the situation and sorry to hear about that. But to you specifically, the person <laughs> who body know they enter Lagos, I shouldn't be expected to be a Lagos boy. Avec. That's it. So yeah, like I said, I Avec. came at the age of five. My dad is a lecturer, so he got an opportunity to come to the United States and teach. So yeah, all, all my upbringing is American. I am super American, but deep down, I'm a Niger boy at heart. Um, yeah, that's it. I'm a Niger boy at heart. You know, if I even cut my blood, you can't see it. But, uh, <laughs> obviously, it's a very hard position to be in because I think everybody here is African already, so it's very hard. Inda told a very personal story and it would be a bit insensitive to bring something that has happened to lots of Ma'am, stop lying. <laughs> stop lying. Bro, we all saw that side out of that tour, bro. Stop lying, bro. Bro, there ain't no way she's bro. We all saw her face when she was trying to tell that story, bro. Stop it, bro. People and use it as your own story. It's something very sensitive to, you know, call out. Didn't think what she was talking about was a lie, but I just thought she didn't really go through that. And she began to cry, but I didn't see a single tear. I had a genuine reaction like, oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Cause I know a lot of work goes on in Africa, but at the same time, it was Inda versus Blessing. If it was maybe Inda versus Sam, of course, you know who I would pick. <laughs> okay. You guys, I cried for you. <laughs> Even that is a little suspect, man. Like, you deaf? I don't know. I it's honestly weird. was kind of shocked because that would be really, like, sick <laughs> of an individual to just make that up. But I'm glad I got to speak about it. And hopefully it brings attention to the issues that are going on. If everyone feels confident that you already caught the mole, you can end the game now. Please raise your hand if you want to continue playing. Continue. Yeah, continue. Yeah. All right. Okay, I'm gonna, like... I'm gonna go, Sam. I'm coming for you. Do oh, not go. Yeah. See, first of, all, first of all, first of all, the energy no, no, was no, just like giving. No, no. Oh my God! No, no, no. Don't catch me. <laughs> first of all, no, no. second of all, wait. Uh, okay. Calm down, bro. Uh. Mm. See, I noticed something about African men when they move here. They, their, their fashion sense will be different. Your fashion is giving me um, American. You're not. I swear, no. you look good. I was like, first of all, this shirt is great. Okay, this is Fangevar. Like, I've got this from Target, okay? It's no, actually no, no. giving me African. Uh, no, no, no. But, no it's, it's giving me some, it's some an American that mm -hmm. is like in senior but high school. I feel like you're forgetting this actor. But is he a nerd? He's oh, an no. actor. Wait, this is hey, between actor. the two of oh, you. Yeah, 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 no. <laughs> exactly, don't put me into this, bro. Like, I hate when people do that, bro. Like, the, the whole conversation about you, bro. Don't put me into none of that. 
Especially, but I don't know, like, bro, you, you definitely, you definitely getting off like an American nerd in high school, senior, senior, junior year. You know what I mean? Just you know, by you lonely. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know why. I mean, why not like this? Have like a I don't know. I ain't messing with. It. I I'm definitely messing with the SpongeBob T-shirt. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, I'm feeling like a, an African that was raised in Africa, mm -hmm. okay? You don't dress like that. But then I, I'm trying not to judge you because you're from Zambia. And I'm not yeah. going to lie. I'm not yeah. extremely yeah. familiar. Yeah. Honestly, familiar even in Kenya, Zambia. guys dress like this. Yes. So. I, I think you yeah. guys. Yeah. What's African? What's African? 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 When I first moved from Ghana to the States, I dressed similar to you. West Africa. Oh, when did you come yeah. here? When did you come here? 2018. Oh, so, so you went to what school? Like, did you go to high school here, college, so, or what? High, yeah. I, I did. So, I've been high, primary school, high school. I did everything back in my country in Zambia. Yes. What was the name I, of your teacher in primary? I had so many teachers. Hold on. What <laughs> you mean, you so you moved here for college? You moved here for college? Uh, college, yeah, 2018. On what kind of visa? Student visa. What, what else? Kind? What other okay. visa do you? What's it called? What's the code? You should know F1. Okay. F1 visa. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> Well, I didn't question this, man. But anyways, uh, there is, you should at least have one teacher that you know in high school or junior high, whatever, that you really like. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you mess with heavily. You you, you should have at least remember one of your teachers, man. Ask me that question, I would have failed because okay. I didn't come on students. Uh, <laughs> what, what did you come with? What did you come with? I, I come here because my grandparents have been living here, so they file for my dad, me. They file for uh, us. Like, so we just card. come here as green card holder. Yeah. What's the hardest part about living here as an African? One thing that I found a little weird but not hard was the fact that Americans enjoy cold food. Like, you know, food just left oh, on the table. Yeah, like cold pizza. Mm. Or like just leave there. I like my food hot. Mm. You know, if I feel like most Africans, you know, they eat their food straight from the pot. First of all, when I first first got here and you people were kissing in public, what, that what was years? rubbish. What year, what year did you get here? 2015. Honestly, 2015, 2018. 2018. Uh, last year, 2022. Oh, wow. 2013. You came uh, just last year? Yeah. Really? So, so yeah. they weren't here for like the hard part. Because when you guys came, like Africa was already kind of cool. Yeah, that mm -hmm. was yeah. Uh, way back mm -hmm. when we were here. Like, uh, yeah, I can't well, get go. Those things. I don't, know yes, how yes. That, I don't think I would have but done high school. One, yeah. African booty scratch. Uh, you guys, you guys are walking. <laughs> I remember that. I'm, yeah, the African booty scratch. Yeah, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. <laughs> Yep, exactly. School, riding yeah. on elephant to school, yeah. just like... Yeah, now you have to play along, come. yeah. I feel like I'm an outsider twice, because mm -hmm. I came here, and like in my school, there's a lot of black students, so I'm like, ah, there's black people like mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. But once I say I'm African, it's like I'm not even like the other black people, you mm -hmm. know? I'm separated from them, right, so... Right. Since I lived here for so long, it was um, like the cultural differences, like my parents didn't let me do anything right mm. like couldn't couldn't go Those to like parties overs. couldn't spend the night at friends house even like at a certain point like jordan's things like that my dad didn't want me to come be take. like one of those yo 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 guys mm -hmm. so like they didn't want me doing any of that you wear. <laughs> yeah so like certain things like he would just not let us even wear because mm. yeah. yeah what it would like represent so i think for me that was like the hardest thing not being able to like fully integrate and going to school and still kind of being an outsider but i'm like but i've been here like i'm right. basically african-american right? Right. i wanted to add one small thing i'm not even gonna lie to you i don't, I don't know <laughs> I don't know where the Jordans came in. I don't know how that, I don't know what that really represents, the Jordan thing, but uh, okay. I mean, I guess. But, I mean, I, I could see that. You know what I mean? I could see why, why if, when she said she was African, why they really kind of like, uh, you not really, uh, you not really black. You know what I mean? It's definitely different. Thing. Also, like pronunciations, words. When I first came, okay. there are certain times Nobody that people, you. yeah, you start talking and people stop paying attention to you just because they don't understand what you're saying, and then that makes you a little bit more timid, you know. Yeah. Like I can't even order from drive through okay? Yeah. They say, "Come to the front." I say, "I'm not coming to the front. You're going to hear what I'm saying." Two order burger, two party. <laughs> <laughs> they want to kill me, okay? Okay, I feel like for me, it was making friends. We had. I feel like Americans are very open. Like they'll, you meet them, they'll tell you about their, their whole divorce, life. <laughs> their, uh, yeah. Every single thing that. Yeah. Has happened in their life, yeah. and then ah, uh, they give you the number in your mind. You're thinking, oh, we're friends, we're cool. This is it, like we're locked in. This is for life. Tomorrow, they don't pick up your phone call. Mm -hmm. I said, oh, that's so oh, true. That's... That's... <laughs> <laughs> and they, and they even walk past. You, I said, oh. He had the African attire, and I just felt like that was too obvious. 
Every time I look at that table and I need to vote, I just see you, okay? <laughs> Elizabeth, she started like pressing Sam. And you can see he was getting nervous. Like he started like fumbling in his answers. I was like, yes, he's like an auntie is actually peppering him now. Like he doesn't know what to do. We have another tiebreaker. Oh, Lord. Between Sam and Sadiq, I will give the rest of the group a minute to deliberate on who you want to vote off. Vote wisely. <laughs> Mind your business. Okay. I don't believe in the Wakanda shit. I don't believe in the Wakanda shit. He did say that. He did say that. I would never compare to Wakanda. I would never compare to Wakanda. I know what he's saying, though. I know what he's saying. I feel like you're coming from the... Yeah, it, I feel like they definitely gonna pick Sam. <laughs> they definitely gonna pick Sam. But just because that man is nerd, y'all just stay up. I just gang up on the man. Perspective of you, Kenyan, and nobody yes. can defend you the way we can yeah, defend Yeah, because we're defending each other almost. But well, she doesn't agree, so Yeah, I but it's two against one, so. Gosh. All right. I was hot. I hope I don't cry after this, okay? okay. West Africans are always rigging election. I'm sorry. <laughs> I tried. Is this the, the agenda? I saw it. <laughs> Seriously, I actually thought I was out. I actually thought I was out. That was so snaky. I felt so betrayed because, like, I'm the most African African. Please raise your hand if you would like to continue playing the game. Continue playing? I want to continue. I feel like we should. It's up to you guys. It's three against so one. The game is done. Oh. If the lights turn green, you caught the mole and you win. If the lights turn red, you didn't catch them, they're still in the game, and you lose. Three, two, one. What? I swear I'm gonna what? kill what? one of you guys. What, what? the hell? Why is it one of us? <laughs> no, no it's, it's, not it's not her. There's something she me. said. Can the mole please step forward and reveal the Bro, I had an inkling, bro, because wait, I don't even know, bro. That's wild. I would have never guessed it, but then I, like, at the end, like, when he started looking, I'm like, bro, that dude, he, I don't know, he, he looked dark. He looked like a dark skin, dark skin. Like, I mean, maybe his people is from Africa. I don't know. Let me see. That's wild. I'm sorry, oh, I'm sorry, please forgive me. But I'm still a Niger guy, true and true. Almost we everything today I said was true. Now. The only difference is that I, I was actually born you. here. And then I went back for like two years. I knew it. And then I came I back to the States and stayed. My but I got will punish you again. Damn, I feel bad. You better. I never want to win. I never want to win. Thank you. No hard. I ain't gonna lie to you. Hey, he good. He was good at it, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I would have never guessed him, bro. I really wouldn't have. Feelings for being eliminated. It's the game. I can't really do anything about that. I just know that it'll cause some reflection, maybe, from the people. And, you know, not to assume or... Lady, lady, be quiet. <laughs> lady, don't, don't, no, don't ruin the video for me. Like, I, I really don't. You, you know what I mean? Don't ruin the video. To just open your to keep the West Africans in, but she was like, "Well, I'm gonna save my little brother from Nigeria," and then now she finds out that he was the one that was actually lying. So look at you, dear Sam. <laughs> I'm so sorry, bro. I swear to God. See, I love you, Sam. Okay, genuinely. And I apologize, my dear Inda. I felt bad that even though you cried and you were being vulnerable at that time, I still voted you out. I'm so sorry. I kind of. <laughs> Felt that I was gonna win this one to be fair. They're all really cool. Uh, whenever I'm around like other Africans, especially West Africans, you always click. Love all you guys when you're watching this. I, I didn't mean to lie, but I had to do it for the bag. I had to do it for the bag. Real Niger guy. <laughs> wow. 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 They got some fake, <laughs> he throwing away fake money, okay. But hey, yo, that's the end of the video, yo. Y'all tell me what y'all think up in the comments, y'all. Did y'all think he was, did y'all think he was the, he was the liar, y'all? Like, I love, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I really did not see it until like the end of the video. I was like, bro, like, I feel like he would be lying, though. That's crazy. But hey, y'all, uh, please hit that like button and subscribe button, y'all.
and share the video with everybody. See your family, friends, whoever you see. And just tell them to subscribe to the Fat Man, yo. And that's it, yo. I will see you guys on the next one. Peace out. I'll see you guys on the next one.